If you're able to level up with people that, hey, look, I'm just a human just like you, the chances of them opening up to you and and build that relationship with you is, is much, much higher. I joke around with them quite a bit. So, uh, my name is Ken. I went to school for mathematics at the University of Waterloo in Canada. I'm actually an immigrant from China. You know, came here when I was 12 years old. I had to learn English from zero, right? After I graduated, I stepped on a sales job, um, learned a lot about it. It was my first job ever, never really worked a day before that, and I loved it. And that's when I really understood the fact that, hey, I love talking to people. And then as, as I worked a little bit more, and then as I was around the entrepreneurship type of people, I realized that I want to run a business because I get to see I can teach other people and I get a lot of joy from teaching other people and I guess that's how the entrepreneurship started. And I knew that if I want to be able to help people, I have to do something that it's more than just me. A lot. Life is pretty much sales because you're always selling something at any given time. For example, when you're a little kid, um, when you ask your mom, hey, can I hang out with my friends? Your mom's gonna be like, no, but you gotta justify why that should happen. So that's sales alone. So it taught me how to talk to people, how to negotiate, how to build relationship with people and how to control myself, my, my emotions a little bit, right? Because in sales, there's gonna be rejections. You gotta be able to calm and collect it to handle all these rejections and a lot to learn in the industry. Running your own business is definitely something very exciting. Um, it, it really teaches you who you are as a person. Uh, you have to hold yourself accountable. There's also struggles, the ups and downs in business. Everybody talks about it, right? Um, but it's very rewarding. One thing I love about business is that when you do well in business, you're able to help a lot of people. There's quite a bit. <laughs> Number one, the biggest challenge when manage a lot of people is to understand them. It's very easy for and individuals in the leadership positions to expect things from others like they would expect themselves, right? And in my beginning years of mentoring people, of running a business, I would always ask myself, why can't they do what I do? Well, the answer is they're not you, right? So to be able to understand that everybody has their cycle of developments, everybody has, has their ups and downs, strengths and weaknesses, to be able to understand that and able to draw out their strength and help with their weaknesses is it's definitely a lesson to learn, but once you learn it, it's, it's going to be very beneficial for anybody that you're going to work with. Personal development. I was an introvert. My English was, wasn't even that good, and I didn't really have much goals in life. I just sort of wanted to finish university, find a job, right? And as long as I can pay my phone bill, and whatever car payment I make, that would be it. So I didn't really have like uh, any sort of a life goals or ambitions towards anything really, uh, or contribute to any society. But then after running my business, after getting into sales, I realized that I actually want to help people to change their lives. And I get an opportunity to do that on a day-to-day -day basis, where when somebody joins our company, we're able to take somebody that's never done sales before, or they're maybe struggling a little bit in terms of finance, or they just generally want an opportunity to prove themselves. And through our company, we're able to help them do that. I'm very proud of the fact that I get to help people. I see that as a success. But my biggest success is not monetary value, but more so I'm able to retire my mom. So this summer, my mom was looking for a job. And I remember one day I was going to the zoo with her and she said that, hey, I started my job. It was first day yesterday. And she was telling me how her feet hurts it's too long hours and all that kind of stuff. And then I was like, hey mom, just stop looking for a job. I will pay you every week to just be my mom. She didn't believe me until she visited me a couple weeks later and I handed her two paychecks. And I told her, hey, look, this is enough to pay for pretty much whatever you need, all your bills, just enjoy the summer. My skills and hobbies, my hobbies are a lot of different things, but, and I think part of the fun part about having the freedom after you run the business and starting to see a little bit of success is to be able to go through different hobbies and figure out what you like. A lot of the time people kind of don't have the luxuries or the freedom or time to go explore what they actually like. 
For example, recently I, I got an opportunity to kind of get into uh, a genre of music that I never really got a chance to explore and I loved it. And that really changed my outlook in life. And I was able to go to one of the biggest festival, if not the biggest festival in the world a couple years ago and that completely changed um, everything for me. And I became a much better person in my opinion, more positive, more loving in general. Uh, some hobbies is definitely cars. I love cars. Fun fact, I actually did an uh, ice rally where um, they would take a car and we would drift around on a racetrack that's on a frozen lake. So that was extremely fun for me. Um, so I love a little bit of everything. Foodie, you can call it. I love watching movies, enjoy, uh, enjoy little moments in, in life. I think the, the biggest thing I find about team building, how to build a big team is you gotta be able to relate to everybody. I, I find myself that I know a little bit of everything just by talking to people. It's not that I went on the internet and search up every subject ever known to man, but it's more so as you interact with people, you just gotta listen to them. They will tell you something that they're passionate about. And when they do, you learned it. You gotta take interest in what people say and what people talk about, right? And then after that, you just gotta be level with your guys. If you're able to level up with people that, hey, look, I'm just a human just like you, the chances of them opening up to you and and build a relationship with you is, is much, much higher versus somebody that kind of comes in with the status quo of, hey, look, I'm your boss. Then it's very hard for you to build a relationship with people. I joke around with them quite a bit. <laughs>